It's First Frontier Forward. Rob Z with you as always. And today we have Justin Mandel, the chair of the Allegheny Angel Fund. Justin, thanks for being here. Uh, thanks for having me here, Rob. Absolutely, man. It's very cool to have you on board, have you uh, as a part of First Frontier Forward and uh, the Allegheny Angel Fund. So the reason I wanted to talk to you today is because you're helping a lot of businesses throughout our area, throughout the First Frontier. I think right off the bat, I'm, I'm curious, uh, and I'm sure people who are watching this also are curious, like what is the purpose of the Allegheny Angel Fund? And some people might not know what an angel fund is. Could you explain that a little bit? Sure. Uh, so the Allegheny's Angel Fund is a, a private um, investment group uh, that's looking at what we call seed stage investment. So typically, uh, these are companies or entrepreneurs who are raising their first money, um, usually after what we call friends and family uh, money. So a lot of entrepreneurs get started either with their own funds or, you know, with with what we call family and friends and um, before they're ready to go to more institutionalized capital sources like venture capital or, or et cetera, um, they come to uh, seed stage investors or angel groups like ours. Uh, and so we invest, uh, you know, between 50, um, I would say between 50 and $150,000 um, in any given company uh, that we um, choose. And uh, that money, uh, is designed to help that entrepreneur grow uh, their venture to a point where uh, they're ready to um, take on more institutionalized capital. Very awesome. And it's obviously uh, helping to support our area. You're helping to support businesses throughout the first frontier. What, what all counties do you cover? Do you have a limit as far as who you will cover in the Alleghenies or is it kind of wide open? How does that work? That, that's a good question. Uh, so, um, the fund is not geographically limited in any way. Our members um, can, can really choose any sort of investment uh, that they like. However, um, the, the fund has a, uh, so, so, so the fund is designed to, to earn a return on capital. Our members expect to uh, exit uh, our investments um, profitably. And that's our first goal um, in, in managing uh, the fund. Uh, but our secondary mission, I, or I don't know if I would call it a mission, is um, to look carefully at uh, companies and entrepreneurs and ventures uh, that are um, relatively local to us. And uh, that's because our membership is uh, primarily in Blair and surrounding counties, and our membership is interested in supporting um, companies in the central Pennsylvania area. So uh, we look uh, really hard at um, entrepreneurs that come to us from the Southern Allegheny's footprint. Um, the Southern Allegheny's Planning and Development Commission uh, was really kind of the sponsoring institution uh, for the fund. And those are uh, the, the counties that are served by the SAP and DC is Cambria, Blair, Huntington, Somerset, Bedford, and Fulton. Um, however, to date, we've made three investments. Uh, actually, one, the most recent one is here, Gilson Snow. Uh, Gilson is based in uh, New Berlin, Pennsylvania, near Williamsport, um, and we've invested in two companies uh, based in Pittsburgh. Uh, the first one called Travelwitz, which is an online um, travel booking platform that uses algorithmic um, algorithmic software to package uh, complex itineraries. Um, their website is travelwitz.com, and the second company is called Pitmoss. Um, Pit Moss has developed a soil, potting soil alternative made from uh, recycled paper products. Um, and it has the benefit of being um, more environmentally friendly than typical peat moss based potting soils and is more water retentive and leads to uh, better and faster growth uh, than, than typical um, uh, planting soils. So those are the, those are the three firms that, that we've invested in so far, and we're currently looking um, at um, a local firm, uh, and that firm is in due diligence, and we've considered a number of other companies uh, around the footprint. Very cool. I love this. I love what you guys are doing, helping out the community, and especially with the SAPDC. Uh, you know, First Frontier Forward covers five of those six counties, and right now we're trying to get Fulton on board as well. So I think anybody who's watching this who has a business, who's trying to, you know, get the funds to really 
take themselves to the next level. Hopefully this helps them push to, to get in contact with you and, and your team with the Allegheny's Angel Fund to maybe take their business to, to where it needs to go. And uh, how do they do that? What's that process look like? If they want to get a hold of you and they want to be a part of the Allegheny Angel Fund, uh, do they have to like go through a vetting process? How do you decide if the business is right uh, for you guys to invest in? How does that all work? Uh, well, thanks for that plug. Um, we, uh, we're always seeking uh, entrepreneurs and ventures uh, to evaluate and, and hopefully invest in. Uh, the best way to contact us is through our website, uh, which is AlleghenysAngelFund.com. Uh, the website has information about uh, our members, information about our, our executive committee, um, and there's a page uh, for entrepreneurs that includes an application uh, that they can submit um, to request funding. Um, once we receive that that application, uh, we uh, yeah, there you go, you got it up there. So if you click on entrepreneurs at the top, you'll get a short description of. Um, I think you clicked on news there. Oh no, it looks like there's a bug in our website. I'm gonna have to get uh, get on that. Uh, if normally, <laughs> normally there's a little paragraph about, uh, what we're looking for and a link to our, um, try reloading that page one time, uh, a link to our application. And the application asks for things like, you know, you know, what's your website address and, uh, show us, uh, there you go. So it seems like it appears there for a minute and then it goes away. Yeah. We'll get that fixed. Um, <laughs> Yeah, thanks. <laughs> always, always good to have some some third parties looking at your uh, software, right? It's good to figure it out on the fly. Yeah, that's yeah, the way exactly. you're going to find out. Anyway, so so the application asks for things like you know who who are, who are uh, your founders, who are the employees in your firm, what P and Ls do you have, what kind of products are you developing? It's basically you know a subset of your business plan, um, and then uh, that uh, application goes in our our um, screening committee. Uh, and then, uh, if it's selected for presentation, it, uh, we invite, um, those entrepreneurs to present to the full membership at our monthly meeting. And, uh, you know, some of the businesses that are already involved, are they, are they seeing success with you guys helping them out? What is, what is their response been to, to how, uh, the Allegheny's angel fund has helped them to get them moving forward? Yeah, that's a great question. So, um, you know, we're not just a capital source for, um, for ventures and entrepreneurs. We really um, like to provide advice um, and some additional networking opportunities that our membership provides. So uh, the group uh, today is uh, approximately 50 um, individual members or family members uh, alongside uh, three institutional investors. And so the scale that we can provide to entrepreneurs is connections within uh, almost every industry, both in Pennsylvania and abroad. And um, we we're able to be kind of like a central Pennsylvania stamp of approval for convertible note rounds and, and, and seed stage equity rounds. Um, and we've found that um, our, our portfolio companies really value the membership and uh, the, the brand that we've created so far. I love it. And I'm curious, where does your passion come from for this? Because to be able to go in and, and help a business grow, it's got to be an, an incredible feeling. So for yourself, uh, what does that mean to you? And, and how did that come about for you? What made you want to do this? Uh, well, that's a great question, too. So, so my background uh, is a mix of um, entrepreneurship and I, I suppose uh, what some people call in, intrapreneurship, um, which, you know, is same thing, but within a larger corporate umbrella. I got my uh, career started uh, with um, tech and, and telecom companies um, all, all over the world. I worked as a strategy and management consultant based out of London. Uh, and I worked for mostly mobile telecom operators in different countries, helping them um, either build their business or change their business in some way. Uh, and through that, I got really interested in, in both how do you grow big and small companies. Um, after uh, business school, I worked for some time with a small uh, travel startup. Um, and when my family, well, my wife and I moved back to Pennsylvania, um, I partnered with um, a local real estate developer to start a real estate development company. So um, 
both a mix, you know, of, of big and small, um, but always trying to find opportunities for growth. Um, I was approached by the Southern Allegheny's Planning and Development Commission to support their efforts to, to create a private fund. And because nothing like this really exists, um, um, basically between Pittsburgh and Philadelphia, it seemed like a, a perfect opportunity to um, help them start this uh, investable, you know, investing group. Yeah, no doubt. I think it's a great move, and especially because there's nothing else like it in our area. You guys are the, the first of, of its kind in our area. That's amazing. Wonderful. So thank you for helping out the community, helping out businesses. And uh, anything else you want to throw in, Justin, before we sign off? Yeah, sure. I mean, I'll just talk a little bit. You know, we, we, we are not industry specific. We look at uh, entrepreneurs across the spectrum. Um, you know, software is something traditionally that um, early stage investors like because it can be highly scalable and, and scale is certainly important. Uh, but, you know, if you take, for example, the three companies we've invested in so far, um, one is software, the travel company. Uh, and two are manufacturers. Um, Pit Moss and Gilson Snow are both uh, manufacturing businesses. Pit Moss is a mix of direct to consumer and um, and wholesale uh, uh, business, and, and Gilson is a direct to consumer business. But they're both manufacturers, and so you know we believe that all three of those companies and, and many others are are very scalable businesses, even though they're not software companies. Um, and we communicate regularly with a number of other angel funds, both in our, in Pennsylvania and in other states to compare notes about um, what their investors and their members like, um, what opportunities are out there, um, you know, how we can potentially bring businesses to our area that are looking for, you know, a mix of lifestyle and workforce and other event, um, uh, other benefits of, of the first frontier. So, um, you know, I, I would, I would plug that too, but yeah, I mean, anybody who's interested in um, growing their venture, they should get in touch with us. Cool. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. Make sure you check out Allegheny's angel uh, Any other links, any other place they can go to get a hold of you guys, or is that the best place to go? That's the best place to start. Um, and uh, I think there's also a, a form they may be able to fill in if they have some questions. Excellent. All right, Justin, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. All right. Thanks, Rob. Thanks for having me. Sure thing.